Okay, so in, in your particular case, you're saying it was a Terry Richardson uh, shoot, uh -huh. right? Which Terry, Terry, Terry had man. nothing to do with it. Terry wasn't, you know I mean? He was just a photographer. And, okay. you know, little did we know then that he would be steamrolled and, and thrown into all of that stuff because, you know, I heard a lot of crazy stuff about his shoots and, you know, but he was always cordial with me. He actually shot an ex-girlfriend of mine and I was on set. He was very, he was, he was much of a gentleman, but, you know, by that time, things started coming down on him. So I, I think he was aware of his surroundings and, and behaving, you know, per se. Okay, so in your case, who was asking you to change in front of them? Um, these are two two well-known um, stylists and, and 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 you know art directors now in the in the world, but you know they've soon apologized. You know they look at it now and they you know they're ashamed of what they did. And you know I wouldn't. I I told them I said, look, you know I'm not going to out you. You know just don't do it to anybody else. You know, and that's that's what we really want. We don't want people doing it to to anyone else. Someone new, you know, because a lot I saw a lot of young women and men in the industry when I was there got taken advantage of, you know? And six months later, they're back home in their small town, ready to marry the first person that shows them some kind of love, you know, because it is abuse. Whether it's verbal, physical, or sexual, it's abuse either way. And it's not cool, man, you know? Okay, well, without naming any names, the, the two stylists that you mentioned, are they male or female? Uh, males. Ah, Two openly okay. gay so males, like, you know. I mean, they was trying to they uh, was they was trying to see the Magnum, you know. What I mean, <laughs> I, you know, what I mean, it was it was well said, you know. I was well, you know, you know, I was a man back then, you know. Okay. So. Uh, okay. Big well, twelve, remember we big twelve, big twelves. Big twelves. <laughs> <laughs> well, rem big remember our too. last interview I asked about this though remember like we touched on that and you're like yeah nah, it hasn't really happened but you know yeah, it, I, I it mean for me that degree. was my only interaction to to be asked to change and be naked in front of two two men which you know it didn't happen and it wasn't like you know nowadays you're you're backstage of the show you're rushing to get you you, you sometimes I've been naked backstage and you're rushing to get dressed and in that point of it you're you're in a rush. Nobody's really watching, you know, but I've looked up sometimes and, and seen like somebody naked. And then, I, you know, you, you, you're you so shocked. You look back down. Not like I ain't seen a naked woman or a man before. It's just like, you know, you don't want to invade somebody else's space. And it's, it's just a cordial thing to do. You know, we don't have like curtains backstage for shows. You know, you just you just hurry up and do it and be done. I mean, we in society have put the human body to a point where we're almost ashamed of it, you know? But then again, it's almost a privilege to see it when you do get to see it, especially if it's somebody you're with and you care about, you know, it's, you know, it's important. But me, I'm, you know, I'm, I don't have no problem being naked, you know? I just ain't gonna be naked in front of two men oogling and staring though, you know, it, it ain't <laughs> happening, you know?